So today we're continuing a tradition of going for a Christmas reindeer hunt here on Hemeldal in the Hunter Classic, and they've added the Rudolph reindeer into the game, and every year I try to go for one and get one added into the Trophy Lodge, so I like to just have like one for every year, and that is something that I've not yet actually done, so I want to keep the intro as short as that and wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday, and uh, I'm going to try to keep this video short because it is in fact Christmas Day, but we're going to get out here and see if we can get a little... Uh, Rudolph has the tradition. This is a little less than ideal. I've been tracking these reindeer for a while, and I've just been calling as I knew I got closer. And they are coming in. That's not a bad bull, but definitely not a Rudolph. So we'll just go ahead and try to get him there. 290 to 430. Definitely not anything too special, but a good way to start, I think. And we didn't even send the females running, so we'll probably just leave them. Female reindeer in the Hunter Classic don't come into calls. It's only the males, and once the male's dead, they just kind of wander around and completely ignore it, so... I mean, we could shoot that one? I don't know. They actually do give a GM reward. If it'll stop again, we might as well try. Get a little bonus out of that. But, our bull here... The weight was 125 to 160 on the track, so I thought he had a good chance. But he's very much on the low end. Only got us about 30 CSS. I don't think the female is going to do much worse. Maybe like in the 20s. But as far as like paying for the tracer arrows, I think anything over 10 basically pays you back. And that's 19, so we're gaining on that. And I need to see where we ended up here. I want to go down and get my lynx collar because I left it. So maybe, because I want to end up here, we'll sort of like loop down and around and then go up and check that lake. I really don't know why there's so consistently a herd of reindeer at this lake. Because the reindeer are just kind of migratory, they pretty much walk across the map. So there's not a lot of areas that you can consistently find them in, but this does seem to be one of them. And we have another pretty average bull up there. 270 to 410, so definitely not going to be anything special. But we'll try to bring him in and just get him with the bow. We actually might get the chance again to take one of the females. It's going to depend because they got kind of close. I don't know if they'll hear this, especially that one that just trotted right towards us. That might have messed up the whole thing, but I guess we'll just let them go. It's not like any of the smaller ones are going to help us nearly as much as that better one we got earlier. But I already forget, I think the first bull we shot was in the 350s, maybe? This guy is a lower weight, but 402, so I guess we're trending in the right direction. I also don't know how we did that. Double lung and intestine. I seem to remember that... Reindeer hitboxes are a little bit weird, so I'm gonna guess it's just that. That's actually cool. That's a thousand red dragon bow harvest. I didn't know that I had that. There's a moose just bearing down on us, apparently. Might try to get an arrow in her too before we get run over. I should get her down quick enough. But yeah, I've been using this bow off and on along with the orange pulsar. And, I guess, most of the future compound bow hunts after this one, we're going to be using the Orange Pulsar, because that's the last achievement we can get with the Red Dragon. And even a random cow moose kill. I wonder if that uh, reindeer will stop for us. They do it a lot, like just kind of trot around. I don't know if... <laughs> well, that's a thing, I guess. <laughs> we were literally holding her for going anywhere, but we were so close that we shot through her. All right. I can't say I've ever been a part of a <laughs> uh, obstacle for an animal in this game. I managed to hit the rock pretty good. Anyway, I think I'm going to continue along the northern border now. Because I had the most luck doing that when I've hunted the reindeer before, just kind of going along like this. And hopefully we can start to find more of them. I'm not sure if we're just super unlucky. And there's an entire herd of female reindeer here without a bull. Because I've been sitting here calling, they're not walking around as if they're coming in with a bull, and I've been able to see them for a while, and there's no sign of any. So I think we're just going to go ahead and try to take one of the females, and then we'll go and look at the tracks and make sure. But I think we can see just about everything here, and I see no sign of a bull, so it could just be a herd that doesn't have one. But there was that one female, I'm not sure which it was. Might have been that one, or that one. I think it's probably this one that's the biggest one. 
It's up to 3.30. And if we can just get her to stop. Or slow down. That works as well. We'll take her there. We ought to be able to get a little bit for GM. And then we'll go and look at the tracks. Maybe there was a bull in there and he got through quicker or something. I really can't imagine why the females would be doing that. The other option is somehow we spooked the bull and the females hung around. So that could be. But for a female reindeer, that's definitely not too bad looking. Got her lung, intestine, liver. And she's 273, so a little better than what we got earlier. 21 total CSS. And we'll go and look for the tracks here and just make sure that we weren't missing something. And by the way, we're an hour and 24 minutes into this, and I just noticed like a little bit ago that it's not stuck at the 1800 time. So I kind of had it in my head that they might leave the Rudolph reindeer in the game and just end the like competitions and missions. But I would say the Rudolphs are actually taken out. So that is a little bit unfortunate. I thought they might stay at least till Christmas. But the good news is, as we run off and try to see if there was a male in this herd, I did have a couple of backups just in case. It's taken me quite a while just to find a Rudolph. We did the entire stream last week and didn't get a single one. This guy's definitely not huge, but they get a lot smaller, so could definitely be worse. And I think we're going to try to call him in here and get him in bow range, but I wanted to come out here and just kind of improve my odds of getting one, rather than relying on just like that one last attempt. But as he gets a little bit closer here, he's 24 there, so I think we can get that. We'll just kind of step to the side, and if we can just kind of drop him. Hopefully anything else in the area is not going to spook from that. And I know I've shot higher scoring Rudolphs in the past, but I just want to make sure I have something for the trophy lodge, so this guy is 357. We'll get a quick trophy shot of that and try to make it look nice since we're kind of wearing the whole outfit here. I know they're kind of going for like a Christmas Eve thing by making it 1800 in-game no matter what, but I wish the lighting was a little better, because I kind of like this. I would like it better if we didn't blink. But that actually looks pretty nice. I'm happy with that. I'd say I'm convinced. All female tracks, so I guess there was just not a bull with them. So that's not too big of a deal. It would have been nice to get another one, but we do know that there aren't going to be Rudolphs in the game, so at this point I guess it's kind of like a trophy or rare ranger hunt, which would be nice to add either of those to the trophy lodge. I don't think we have much of a choice here. We're going to have to try to take this guy out because we're on the trail of a decent reindeer track. It's up to 150 kg, so it's definitely got a chance. And this guy is, of course, directly in line with where we're trying to go, so we'll get him down. And I don't know, as long as that roe deer doesn't cause us any problems, I don't know that the reindeer would have heard that. But he's not too far away, so hopefully we can get eyes on him here. And for a moose that we didn't really have much of a choice for, he's actually not too bad. Hard shot him. 590 kg is pretty big, and he's a 155, so definitely not a bad one at all. I gotta figure that's our bull. He's definitely not huge. But the lack of reindeer for this entire hunt, I'd be shocked if we're suddenly finding a random other one. I wanna get a spotting on him. The weight matches, and he's 360 to 500, so that is actually the best estimate we've seen. And I think we're just gonna try to take him at range there. I don't know that we can crouch. Took a little bit of getting it lined up, but I've talked about it before. You can get a pretty steady shot if you just crouch forward and just keep on walking. So at least we finally got another bull there. It's been a while. Like, the last three herds of reindeer, and this guy was by himself, the last three herds were two herds of all females, the one we actually shot one out of, and then there was a herd with a bull in it, but the track was 80 to 115, so there was just no way it was anything but like a spike, so it's good to see one that's actually decent finally. He's actually got three of his shovels. He ought to make probably mid 400s, I would think. We're getting all really low weights, 425. We are improving, if that means anything. And we double lunged him there, so that kind of crouching method worked out. I don't know, I've covered a lot of the map. You can see I've gone 17,000 meters, but... I kind of want to go down into this corner and just see if there's anything there. We can fast travel in three minutes, so we might as well give that a shot, and then we'll probably wrap it up with whatever's down there. 
Unfortunately, as far as I can tell, there's just nothing around here. I went ahead and called for a couple of species. There just doesn't seem to be anything in this area, and my thought process was, since we're down in this corner, and reindeer can actually exit the map borders and spawn in elsewhere, I thought maybe with the game being open so long, some may have spawned in this area and would have walked in, but that doesn't seem to be the case, so we're gonna head back to the lodge, but as we go back, we have one more bonus Rudolph for the road. It just wouldn't seem right to only take a Rudolph with a bow. So we've got another one out here in front of us, and I just think we have to take one with the Christmas 8x57. So we'll see if we can just drop him out there, maybe. I'd say that'll do just fine. I've been carrying that gun just the entire time, so I had to see if we could maybe get one with it as well. But this guy is 393 actually, so better than the last. I have spent way too much time on a trophy shot of a not that huge Rudolph, so we're just gonna go with that. It actually doesn't look too bad. So I think I mentioned this at the end of the Halloween event. I wanted to make this lodge basically an event lodge, so we've got an albino werewolf from each of the last three years in here, and then the personal best that we got, which hopefully next year is going to be replaced by the next albino werewolf, and we've got the Rudolph reindeer from the last four years, but they actually didn't put them in the game last year, so it kind of works out because we're going to have basically four of each hopefully by the end of next year, but we've got the 2017 one, which actually happens to be the biggest, then we have the 2018 one, and this year's the 357 from 2020, so pretty cool. I like that we're kind of assembling a little bit of an event lodge here, so looking forward to continuing to fill that through the years, but I like it. And I'm pretty happy we got to get out here and go for another reindeer hunt and just kind of continue that tradition again. I was kind of bummed out they weren't in the game last year, so I was really happy to find out they were doing them again, but anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are having a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next time.